why would anyone make a cookbook of healthy choices, low fat, low cholesterol, if low fat, sodium, and then not have anything about it? There's no calorie count. There's no... Who does that? today is something that has happened to me lately that I've never experienced this before. I've never really gave up sugar before like this. So I've been, I've been without sugar for three weeks. We brought Kayla's birthday cake after work home with us in our car and the smell just about made me sick because it was so sweet. Ugh, it was gross. Things smell differently. And I tried to look up and Google articles on this subject and I did not find anything, but I did find a lot of people talking about it. If you have experienced a sense of heightened smell while you are dieting, you need to let me know. I do buy junk food for my kids because just because I'm on a diet does not mean that I'm going to make them. Oh, bread. Bread smells funny to me. It, I, the yeast smell, I can really smell it. And it's almost bad. What does smell good is my fruit. I love the smell of fruit. So I take peaches and different strawberries and things to work and I'll have them sitting there and I can smell them and it's just such a, it makes me happy because it's just such a fresh smell. We have went out to eat and I always get water. So I'll get water and sometimes if they have lemon, I'll have lemon put in it. Before long, I'm gonna start um, doing some recipes in my videos. I'm also gonna be um, putting up a website. I'm gonna be putting recipes that I try on that website. I also want to say um, the outpour of people messaging me, telling me how much they like the videos and that they're following and they've subscribed. I'm so thankful. Um, it really helps me and it keeps me going and I uh, love answering any of your questions or your comments and that just makes me really excited to keep doing videos and showing my progress. I appreciate you viewing my vlog. If you haven't already, hit subscribe and I will see you later. Bye bye.